Hi everybody, uh, happy happy Wednesday, I uh, hope you're all okay, we are middle of the week, hump day, yay, through to the weekend, <laughs> um, although every day is the same isn't it, um, we're still on deja vu, still on Groundhog Day but there is light at the end of the tunnel, we can see that glimmer of hope finally, lots of vaccines happening and people seem to be actually talking about getting back to normal which would be really good wouldn't it, um, hope you're all okay, hope everyone's well and safe. Um, we're going to do a block today um, and I've gone a little bit back old school. We're going to do some proper piecing, some proper piecing. We haven't done any of that for ages. So um, I have written a pattern up for this. Um, I will give you all the, the bits. We'll go through it in a moment. I have written a pattern up, which is on our website. Um, it's on the digital downloads. And then there's another little section called quilt blocks and all of our quilt blocks. So all the isolate, they weren't on there. I'm surprised I hadn't done it before. We had them on there as paper copies, but not as digital downloads. So um, I did all that last night. I put like 30 on last night. Um, so all of our quilt blocks that we did in the isolation quilt and this one today and any other ones that sort of, you know, fit in, if there's pattern written for them, they're now in patterns, digital downloads, and then there's a subcategory called quilt blocks and they're all in there and they're a pound each and you can just download that and either just read it off your phone or your tablet or you can print them out yourself. You can still have paper copies, which is fine, but you need to order paper copies and then we'll print them off and send them to you. OK, so um, but just to let you know that this one is um, is there. So who's there today? Al, who's saying hello? Alex is with me today. Uh, we got hellos from Nikki, Catherine, Heather, Jean. Hi, everybody. Sheila, Caroline. Ah, oh, lovely, Catherine. lovely, lovely. Fabulous. Um, just a quick reminder that the Daily Deal, although it's a weekly deal, there's still a few left of them, okay? Uh, we did have limited stock, there's not many left. Um, we've had a lovely um, lady ring to, uh, this morning say that she ordered yesterday and hers arrived this morning and she just ordered another one, so she was so pleased with it. You've got 10 half meters for 25 pound. It won't necessarily be this selection, it will be a random selection of fabrics, but they are all 100% cotton. They're all from branded you know, people, so it's either Moda or Makawa, this some Riley Blake, there's, there's some bits and pieces. You will get at least one white and white and one solid and then the rest will be patterns, okay? So that's still available. There are still just a few available left of those. Not many, mind, but there are a few. Um, and I think that's all the news I've got to tell you today. Oh, we'll have a chatter as we're going anyway, won't we? So, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this little block. We're going to do a block called a maple star, which some of you might have done before. Sorry, Al, did I come too close for you? Yep. I went like that and you moved back. <laughs> There we go. So maple star. Shall I light flat? Is that easier for you? There we go. Um, so it's called a maple star. Um, and I just thought it's, you know, we haven't done like a proper pieced block for ages. So I thought this is what we'd do today. Um, I'm using, actually, let me turn it that way so that the wording's the right way around for you. <laughs> I'm using those lovely new fabrics from Moda called Quotation. They are, I, will, I promise you, I will get them on the website this afternoon. Um, I meant to do it last night and then I got distracted with all the patterns. Um, but they're gorgeous. I absolutely love them. I love the fact that this is a traditional block, but with these really modern fabrics, it's really funky. I really, really like it. So bear with me. I'm going to go through the cutting requirements for you. Oh, I did. Sorry. No, that's fine. Come back up to me because I'm going to be talking cutting now. <laughs> um, I did put a little post on about the handle for yesterday's basket. Teach me for thinking I can remember things from the shop to here. Should have brought my folder over. Um, I put the proper measurements on as a post on White Gecko on the Facebook page. So if you do want to have a go at it, the correct measurements are there now, okay? <laughs> um, right, so you will need out of your background fabric, and I'm using this lovely um, cream with like the dandelion head, seed heads on it. Um, you will need four two and a half inch squares. You're gonna need four two and a half by four and a half and then you will need four three inch squares okay so that's your background fabric for your center fabric which i'm calling fabric one that's my center you'll need one four and a half inch square okay my inner fabric fabric two which is this bit here okay which i've used this gray words for you need four two and a half by four and a half okay like that now I'll show you in a minute what I did with those, okay, to make the, the words correctly. But um, And then for the fabric three, which is all my green, okay, you need four two and a half by two and a half, and you'll need four three inch squares, okay? So 
this is look again this is one of those blocks that looks way more complicated than it actually is there's actually only really sort of two elements to it and then we're going to lay it all out so first thing we're going to do get all these bits out of the way um who else is coming online anybody else there anybody else having a little chat when uh, i find that piece of fabric i've lost there it is margaret says uh, ordered some bozel for yesterday's bag oh fabulous uh, lovely lovely bunch more hellos from suzanne marion catherine perfect Linda. hi everybody cool so first thing we're going to do is we need to take our your three inch background fabrics and your three inch green fabrics or whatever colors you're using but those ones this will make this like the star points okay and you're going to make some half square triangles now i know a lot of you will have done these before we do do them a lot it's a very um well used thing within quilting half square triangles but I'll just, I've made some already. I'm just going to go through one for anybody who, who hasn't made one. Okay. So we are going to, so you might want to come down here, Al. We're going to draw a line right the way across diagonally on the back of one of the background squares to start with. I'm pretty sure Sarah did half square triangles with you last week, actually, didn't, didn't she? So I'm just using a Frixon pen because it irons off. We're going to draw a line. We're going to put them right sides together like that. You can pin if you want, I'm lazy, I don't. And we're gonna stitch a quarter of an inch either side of that line, okay? So I'm gonna stitch a quarter inch this side and this side. So we're gonna go over to the machine and get my water out of the way, let's make some space. And then I'm literally just gonna stitch a quarter inch. Now, I like to use my quarter inch foot when I'm doing these. Some people don't, some people prefer to use their normal foot and move the needle. I use my quarter inch foot because I keep that guide the little you know the funny little like sharp guide thing um right on the drawn line and i use that as my way of you know i, I don't worry what the needle's doing i'm concentrating on keeping that guide right on the uh, on the line um obviously that doesn't work if your guide has got a little bit bent but mine's still okay mine's new <laughs> there we go so i'm gonna go down that side cut my thread and you could chain piece these if you I, which i did with the others you could just chain piece away okay and then I'm going to go down the other side, like that, nice and quick. Uh, my bobbin's about to run out, I'm going to have to put, do a new bobbin in a second, didn't think to check that. Okay, so I've stitched down both sides, and then I'm going to cut up that drawn line. Now you can use a ruler and a rotary cutter, but it's just as quick at this point, just to use your scissors and cut up that drawn line. Okay, like that. We're then gonna iron to the darker fabrics. We're gonna, gonna be a Jedi or a Sith and I go to the dark sides. So just set my seam, my stitches, and then just carefully press that seam out. Okay, so set my stitches and press them out. And then we've got to square these little bad boys up. We've got to square them up to two and a half inches. Okay, so I've got eight to do. I'm gonna go through how to do it on, the, on these first two. And then I'm going to need you to talk to me, ladies, while I'm doing the others, because it'll take a couple of minutes. So I'm going to use the 45-degree the line on my ruler. And again, I'm just re I know we've done this a lot, but I'm going to reiterate for any newbies. I'm going to put my 45-degree line along that seam, along that diagonal seam, okay? And then I'm going to ha check, because I want these to be two and a half inches. So I'm going to find my two and a half inch line on my ruler, there and there and make sure, look through the ruler at the fabric and make sure that those two and a half inch lines are within the fabric, okay? So I've got that lined up there and then my two and a half and my two and a half are within the fabric. By also checking that there is still just a weeny bit of fabric hanging over, all right? And then gonna cut up this side and then across the top like that. Okay, it's only a tiny bit that all these tiny bits add up. It's worth squaring up, okay? The edge that I've just cut, I'm gonna turn down towards me, down to the bottom, my bottom left, and now I can do my two and a half by two and a half, okay? So again, if it's gone right, I've now got my two and a half by two and a half on the edge of the fabric, and that 45 degree line should be right at the center. So, there we go. Okay, so that's my first one done. I've got to do the other seven. So talk to me, please, ladies. What's going on there, Alex? Anybody having a chat? Anybody got anything interesting to tell me? Thank you for all your uh, TV um, and book um, 
What's the word? Recommendations. God, I couldn't think of the word recommendations then. Um, I had, did watch The Queen's Gambit, actually. I loved it. Um, I've also re-watched Firefly recently, too. <laughs> but I'm going to check out some of the others, actually. So. Uh, Lisa says, where can I find the Daily Deal, please? The Daily Deal. So if you go into the sale and clearance section on the website, so there's a whole category called sale and clearance, and then there's one there that says Daily Deal, and if you go into that one, you should be able to find the half metre bundle. Okay. Uh, or you could use the, the search function. If you just put into the search function, half metre bundle, you should, that you should come up there as well. Uh, Claire says, love the quotation fabric I won recently. Beautiful for spring. Ah, oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Oh, yeah, because we gave one of the bundles away, didn't we, on a, a challenge post. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? I, I'm re I really liked using it yesterday, actually. It just feels really um really bright and lovely but really modern as well and it's got it's got script on it it's got word on it which i am a little bit of a sucker for okay so i'm going to back up on all of these sorry i know this is taking a little while oh did they just get a glimpse of you there now no it's got a glimpse of the ceiling oh right okay <laughs> there we go so sorry i know this is taking a little while but you just have to bear with me a second any other questions there uh, Anybody else? Uh, but it says, Love Firefly is such an awesome series. Shame oh. there's only one season. Oh, I know, I know. I um, I rewatched it recently and then I had to watch Serenity, the the, you know, the film, um, to uh, to finish it all off. They should have made more, it was brilliant. <laughs> didn't we have a conversation about that the other day, Al, didn't we? Yeah. Because we were saying Drew, it was Drew brilliant was and Drew was like saying it. he didn't like it and we were like, like you're not a Keir Smith, you're not, just not. <laughs> Christine says, I enjoyed Virgin River. Oh, yes, I've been watching that. I watched the first season, um, and I've watched the first couple of the second season, but it's not my husband's cup of tea. It's too girly for him. Um, so i got to wait till he's um, back working in London to catch up on stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, Firefly, Firefly Lane that Sarah watched. I really want to watch that as well. But again, it's not Phil's cup of tea. So that's ones for when he's working away, I think. <laughs> Binge watch them. Caroline said, nice ceiling. <laughs> oh no, it's a dreadful Artex ceiling. I'd love to get rid of it. It's proper 70s Artex up there. Really don't like it. When we redo this room, that's going to be one of my jobs is I want it redone, replastered. So, but, uh, there we go. <laughs> and nearly done. This is the last one, and we've got all the little. Uh, all the little half square triangles done okay there we go so you can see actually off eight that's actually quite a lot of fabric it only seems like tiny little bits come off each one but you imagine all of that would really distort your block so I know squaring up is a pain I know everybody hates doing it but it's so worth it it's so worth taking that extra time if you want to get your blocks really nice and it's something you know we sort of say to beginners you know that squaring up thing is definitely worth it so now we're going to pair these up you want to put them together in twos and i'll do this towards you and you want to make sure that your background fabric is touching okay so you're basically making like a little flying geese it's a cheats flying geese this isn't it like that and you're going to pair them up and you want four of them so we're going to do this like that and oh there's that one there he is there like that okay we're going to stitch these together now so we're going to put this right sides together like that and i would use a pin at this point i you know i don't pin much but they're quite little and they can distort a little bit if you're not a, a little bit careful you know so i'm just gonna pop a pin there just to hold them where i want them to and then we're going to go back to the machine so anybody else there having a chat um leslie says hi both thanks for the squaring up tips that's all right hi leslie hope you're well lovely um Carolyn says, uh, we started watching The Bay last night, did the classic, just watched three episodes, and that didn't happen. <laughs> oh yeah, I love that when you get a series that you really like, something that really sort of, you know, you think, oh, I'm not, or, or it's a new one that you think, oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to like this, but then suddenly, like, you, you suddenly watch six, six episodes in a night, and it's two o'clock in the morning, you think, I've got to go to bed. <laughs> right, sorry ladies, I'm going to have to do, to do um, a bobbin very quickly as well. So bear with me. Um, I'm quite excited because we've got Disney Plus because 
bit Disney freaks in this size. We do love Disney and Marvel. Um, and uh, Disney Plus have now got the new stars, which has got all the adult... Oh, well, not adult, obviously. Um, but anything over a PG-13 on it. They've like, launched a, um, a channel which has got all the older stuff on it. Um, so I was very excited because there was all sort of new series on there. And I was thinking, oh, I haven't watched that for ages. I could re-watch that. So yeah, there's some really good stuff. Lied to Me was on there and yeah, stuff that would be like 15 or after the watershed stuff. So um, yeah, there's loads of things on there. I was like, oh, I can rewatch that now. There was Castle on there. I loved that when it was on. Bit of nonsense. <laughs> there we go. So, not been done. I think I do tend to rewatch series because I sew so much in the evenings. If you haven't got to watch something as much, have you? If you've already watched it once. Um, you can just have it playing on in the background and you kind of half take notice of it then. So any other questions about the block? We're just talking about TV, aren't we? Uh, not so far. No? Right, so you're all with me so far with it though. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is just stitch down quarter of an inch, okay? I find as well is if you start from this end rather than the end that's got the seams all together, it's less likely to chew up. So start on a plain end if you can. Okay. Oh, sorry, let's pop that down for me out. There we go. And I'm going to chain piece these, okay? So I'm just going to make sure they're lined up. Tuck it back in. So we're chain piecing for those of you who don't do it or don't know what it is. Um, all I'm doing is... That one there. Um, I'm not cutting my thread or anything. I'm just lifting the foot. I'm sliding my next one in like that. Okay, I'm not cutting the thread, just letting the, the foot come up or lift your foot, slide in the next one in and keep going. It's um it's a lot lot quicker um when you sort of have a, like a little stack. If you've got a little stack of like squares you've got to sew together, pair them all up and just go for it. Okay, so clip those apart like this, and then we can unpin them. There we go. So any questions, any comments? Anybody doing anything interesting? Have you had your vaccines yet? How many of you have had them? I'm just going to set the seam and iron these out, okay? How many of you had them? A lot of a lot of people around here have had them. Uh, Caroline says, if it's not a silly question, why didn't you just make flying geese? Um, it didn't fit in with the size for this block. You could absolutely do flying geese normally to get this effect. Um, but sometimes, because flying geese have got to be a certain width by a certain height for it to work, sometimes they don't work when you want a block to be a certain size. Um, so it was just, really, it was just a size issue. But you could you could have, if you wanted, not in this size block, if you wanted a different size block, you could have, could have done little flying geese. Absolutely. So, there we go. There we go. So one little thing just to note on here actually is, let me go, if you can see this here, when you join them together, it suddenly looks, again, if you're a newbie to quilting, you might think, oh no, it's gone wrong because from my point, now you've got this excess fabric, same with a flying geese, you have a little bit of excess fabric there. You want that for when we join it in, that's your seam allowance, your quarter inch seam allowance, okay? So don't worry if you don't expect them to go right to the end, they shouldn't do, all right? So, okay, so that's my little, that little element done. It's one more little element to, to put together. And this, you need your two and a half green ones and your two and a half background ones. And we're just gonna pair these up. Okay, so we'll pair these up directly, right sides together and just stitch them together. So I'm gonna very quickly chain piece this and then we can lay out the block and I can show you how to put it all together. So, oh, that one doesn't wanna come apart. Any other questions there, hun? Mm. I think there was one before everyone yep. started posting their vaccine times. Ah, you've all had them or, um, or just yeah, waiting for them? So I'm going back over here. A lot yeah. of people have had them. Um, no, that wasn't. It was just... Uh, so, Jean says, I got mine on Saturday. Brilliant. Marion had her this morning. <gasps> Fab! It's good to know that it's uh, so many people are getting them, isn't it? And that you know, hopefully, we can put an end to all this if everybody has it. So, I think originally said it would be like October before I got mine, but I think the vaccine program actually for 
for a change is going really, really, something's going right for a change. Um, it's going quite well, isn't it? And uh, now they're saying hopefully they're going to get all adults done by the end of July, which would be good. So again, with these, I'm just going to iron these out. Okay, so you've just got a little little two patches sign, um, stitched together. And then we're going to lie the whole thing out and you can see how it comes together. Uh, there we go, like that, like that. There were some nice bits put on the Gigglers page yesterday. I love the seahorse that Claire did. I'm sure it was, was it Claire? I think it was Claire. Oh, I'm doubting myself now. I'm sure it was Claire. Love that little seahorse. That was fab. And that boutique worked perfectly for it. That was a, a good find, wasn't it, <laughs> in that scrap bag. Right, okay, I'm going to lie the block out now so you can see how, um, how it goes together. So this is my centre one, which is a four and a half. Now, because this fabric was a was stripy and it had words on it, I want, and it's very directional, I um, deliberately cut it. So these are two and a half by four and a half. Let me just iron that crease out very quickly. So I knew that I wanted them to go a certain way. So I cut two pieces like this so that I've got my top and bottom like that. But my two side pieces, which are actually the same size, I cut opposite way on the, on the fabric. So can you see, if I'd have cut them like this, when they'd have been on the sides, they would have been, it would have been upside down, it would have been like that. And I decided I wanted to cut it the other way. So I cut across the fabric that way instead of that way, so that all the, the words were the right way around. Okay, so you're going to lie it out like this. So that's my inner fabric there. Then each one of these have got one of these little units on. So they're pointing inwards like that there there and there and that one there okay and then these little units are going to sit in and fill in this little gap here so that's going to go there so i'm going to push that turn that in like that turn that one in like that so that i've got the green going in towards the center okay and then these last ones which were the two and a half by four and a half background squares uh, squares, rectangles. Sorry, Carolyn. <laughs> Got to get my geometry right. She tells me off otherwise. <laughs> there we go. And those are going to go in there and fill in that bit. Okay. Now, the reason I've done it like this, rather than just make that little unit, because if you made that little unit the same, so imagine they were all like this, like that, okay, and I'd stitch them all together exactly the same. When this one went in over here, and turn so that the green was in the centre. My seam would have been in a different way. A different, can you see? So this seam's going this way. This one's going this way. That would have annoyed me. Okay. So I would lay it all out first and work out which bit I'm going to sew this onto. Does that make sense, ladies? So otherwise, can you see they're kind of the greens in opposite sides with that one? I want those seams going all the way. It's just a pedantic little thing. But I like that in a block, okay? I like those seams to be going all the way, same way. If that one was, even though it would look the same, technically look the same, that would bug me that that seam was going that way and that one was going that way. It's just one of those silly little things. So, first thing we're going to do before we put any of this together is sew these onto here, okay? So I'm going to put this one right sides together there, like that, and this one right sides together there. I'm going to pop a pin in, and I put the pins in with this, so that I know which edge I'm sewing. So I'm gonna sew this edge because the pin's pointing that way. Okay, like that. And the same with these corners here. So I'm gonna put this right sides together with this one. Did that make sense how I explained that? I hope it did, that that's how I kind of look at it. And again, it, like I said, it is just a real pedantic little thing with the seams. It doesn't actually make any difference to the block and how it looks, it just bugs me. And then I'm gonna sew those ones together first. So, back over to the machine, and talk to me. Who's there? Anybody having a chat? Uh, Lisa said it would bug me as well. It, yeah, <laughs> just one of those silly little things. And it shouldn't bug me, because it doesn't make any difference, but it would. <laughs> there we go, so it's a quarter of an inch again, all the way down these. Uh, Linda said, so apart from the centre, could a jelly roll be used? So apart from the centre, yes, absolutely. It's all apart from the centre, which is a four and a half. No, um, no, no, because the half square triangles were three inches, love. So yeah, no, it wouldn't actually. 
Yeah, it would. It'd be yeah. You would because the half square triangles you'd need three inch and cut down to two and a half. So no, you couldn't really. It's not really jelly roll friendly. Some of it is, but you would need to cut a lot of other bits as well. Yeah, no, I probably wouldn't use a jelly roll for this one. Uh, Claire says, do you have any gold coloured fabric in the shop? I can't see any on the website. No, gold at the moment, we haven't got, uh, the only sort of gold we've got is the Liberty Wiltshire Shadow, but it's white with a gold metallic print on it. We haven't got anything like gold gold at the moment. Do you mean like shiny metallic gold? Um, I mean, we've got like sort of linen textures, which are sort of like a mustardy goldy colour, but not like a shiny metallic. Sorry. Right, we're going to iron these out and then we can put the rest of it together. So again, I'm just ironing out to the, um, I'm ironing to the background fabric there at this time because there's less bulk there. Okay. There we go. So I can pop these back in there and in there. And this one. Uh, can I say a random question? Can calico be used as a cushion backing? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, perfect for a cushion backing. Yeah, no problem at all. A lot of people use calico as their, just a background fabric. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with using calico at all. Oh, hang on, hang on. <gasps> See, put them down in the wrong way. Oh, I put them down the wrong way. Oh, there we go. That's better. <laughs> would have bugged me. So, now what we would now what you would do is sew these little units to this unit. So I'm going to stitch that one to that one, and that one to that one, that one to that one, and that one to that one, and then we can do our rows. Okay. So. Are you all still with me? Are you all still okay with me just doing this little bit of stitching? I know it's very repetitive. I can skip it if you want and you can uh, just you know, work it out. But if you're all still there with me, I'll just poop along with it, okay? So anybody else there having a chat? Anybody to tell me? Anything interesting? There we go. Pop that one on there like that. I can sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, can feel can feel that one brewing. <laughs> Lisa says, uh, great choice uh, of fabric for the seahorse. Uh, very happy with my scrap packs. Oh yeah, it was um, it was really lovely, really really lovely that seahorse. I liked it. Yeah, but yeah, the scrap packs uh, they are a bit random, and you you will get scraps. Okay, I mean it's two meters. We haven't got we haven't got any at the moment. We're out of stock. But you will get two meters of fabric but some of them will be small pieces like you know that sort of size some pieces will be bigger um and it is completely random but yeah i am surprised the batik made it into a scrap pack i'm surprised sad and you know snuck that away she didn't like to let Batik go she does she does like to hoard her batiks a little bit we had some new ones into the shop actually um i think they've gone onto the website Oh, that's what I could have brought over to show you today, guys. If you look in the new additions um, section on the website, there's new boutiques and there's um, new... I know you guys all love the Midnight Pearl stuff, which is that like magenta and black range. There's some new ones of those that have come in too. Um, they were like short end bolts, so it was only like three metres of them. Um, but they should all be on there. Um, if you anybody's looking for boutiques, there's some really nice in, interesting ones there. Go. It's always worth checking out the new additions bit on the website because um, we, you know, sometimes we don't get chance to show you here what's uh, what what's going on. So um, it's always worth you know having a look there and seeing if there's new stuff. So I'm just putting these back down so that those words still go the right way like that, and then you're going to sew them in rows. So I'd sew that together there. We'd sew this one together like that, and then we'd sew that one together. I'm not going to do that now because that's very simple stitching okay so i'll just stitch these three together these three and these three okay and then once you've done your rows i would iron these seams in opposite directions so those ones i would sew like outwards this one outwards and this i'd sew uh, iron inwards so that i can nest those points okay and when you've sewn your rows together you end up with the maple star block which looks a little bit like that I think it works really well, this block, with this writing. Um, I think actually by just sort of being careful with how I cut it, you know, if I did several of these blocks, it would work really, really well. So, uh, and I quite like it. It's quite, a, you know, it looks like it's quite a complicated block, but actually it's not. It's a couple of simple little elements, little half square triangles, and just just this little block here. So, any questions or comments there? Anything we, um, or anything we can finish chatting about? <laughs> um. 
Carolyn says, when do you plan on sending out the subscription boxes? They should hopefully be going out by the end of this week. Um, so hopefully we'll be doing that Friday um, so that they will be with you either Saturday or Monday, Tuesday. So, um, so yeah, um, we've everything's there ready to go. But hopefully, touch wood, as long as the patterns are back from the printers and stuff, um, we will be doing that Friday. Jenny says, lovely blog and well explained. Good, good, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. A couple more lovely blogs. Pretty. Um, yeah, quite a simple one, but I think it would be, yeah, it'd be quite nice. I think it'd be quite a nice overall one, actually. Because some blocks can be too busy if they're, they're all on a quilt, can't they? But I quite like that one. Maybe with some, like, bright orange sashing. Pick out this lovely orange or something. With some orange or, or mustard yellow sashing. I think it'd be really lovely and spring-like. To be honest, I, I haven't got time to make lots and lots of quilts at the moment, so this will probably get a, a, a sash in on it and be made into a, a cushion cover because I don't like to waste them. <laughs> so, uh, so anything else there? A uh, bunch more thank yous and lovely Brilliant. blogs. Fabulous. Okie yeah. doke. Right, I will be back on Monday. Um, Sarah is here tomorrow um, with Getting Fruity for Summer. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You're going to have to tune in tomorrow. Um, so she's going to be here tomorrow at one o'clock and then says on again on Saturday on her chanda um, at 10 a.m. And we've got some really, really cute projects going on, some really nice stuff. So um, so tune in for that. Um, if you like Moda Scrap Packs, you want to you wanna tune in on Saturday to a chanda. <laughs> um, they don't last long. They really don't last long. They go very, very quickly. So, um, so yeah, have a, have a little ch check out of what Sarah's doing on Saturday. Uh, she is going to be up in the studio. She is travelling up for the studio. Um, so uh, I think it's just nicer, isn't it, when we're up there rather. Skype works brilliantly, but it's uh, I think it's nicer when you're up there. Um, and then, that's it. And I will see you Monday, guys. Have a lovely, lovely, lovely weekend. Um, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. <laughs>